Freestyle Libre just introduced two major new features into their Libre by Abbott app. I'll show you the features in action and tell you what works and doesn't work about the new update. So first off, this is the Libre by Abbott app, not the Libre 2 or Libre 3 apps. The first feature is called Libre Assist and it basically takes nutrition information you either record manually or use an AI-based photo camera. The second feature is the highly anticipated Apple Watch app. So let's get into it. To access Assist, tap the Insights button at the bottom of the screen where you'll see a new tab called Assist. So then you're gonna tap Get Started with a quick orientation followed by some legal jargon. After that, you're ready to use Libre Assist. You can tap Try It Now. You can either take a photo, upload a photo of your food, or type in a text description of it. So I took a photo and I am intentionally not speeding this part up because I did think it took a little bit longer than I would have liked. But as you'll see, it then predicts that it's gonna have a big impact on my glucose levels, which is reasonable. And then on the next screen, it suggests a couple practical tips to improve uh, or to reduce the glucose spike, such as eating your proteins first, uh, swapping out the soda and increasing some vegetable intake, which I thought were all reasonable suggestions. And about three hours later, I actually got a notification that there was a new food rating. So when you tap that, basically it shows that they adjusted the impact that it actually had on your glucose. Now overall, I actually thought it was pretty well done. I did like the food swap options and kind of the practical tips. Some downsides were that I thought it did take a little bit long on the food recognition, and I really wish that the Insight actually showed your glucose tracing after the meal. Now for the feature which I think is really exciting, the Apple Watch app and widget. As you'll see, there's actually three ways you can look at the widget. First, you have the large widget where it shows the glucose value and how old it is. Now, unfortunately, the small circular widget only shows this icon. So it's a shortcut to pull up the Libre app, but it doesn't actually show the glucose value. Now there's a third type of widget, but it's made for circular clock faces. So I'll have to show it here where it shows here your glucose value and it says that it's now. Now I will say it's not always updated. So in some instances there is no number and there's just a butterfly icon. Overall, I love that there's an Apple Watch widget. I honestly wasn't expecting it. And I also really like that it has that feature where it shows you how old the glucose value is. The trade-off is I think that's why they don't have it as an option for that small circular widget. And for me, that one large widget on my watch face is pretty valuable real estate. So there you have it. Honestly, I think those two features are very major upgrades to the Libre experience. Now, a huge limitation to keep in mind is that if you're using Libre to power an AID or automated insulin delivery system, you will not have access to these features because you can't use the Abbott by Libre app. You have to use the pump specific app to view your glucose data from the Libre. But all other Libre users, I think will really appreciate these features.